good morning guys welcome back to the sullivan family it's monday um it's monday we're just gonna have lunch so obviously joseph has his hospital appointment this afternoon um so i've just been kind of actually i've just been to and fro in this morning taking people places they need to go um doing things that need doing um i did have a little bit of drama when i came upstairs to put some stuff away earlier I came into my room and there was a bird flying around in my room. Um, I have no clue how it got in here because none of the windows were open wide enough to let it in. The only windows that could have been wide enough are in the up the other stairs in the old girl's room, um, Lizzie and Eva and Charlotte and Noah's room. But still then our, win our windows open from the bottom. So we've had to have flown up and under. The only other thing was I had the door open for a little while earlier when I was doing the washing um, so that Joseph and um, Florence could come in and out because they were inside eating their snack. So they were sort of to and fro in. Um, but even then, it would have had to have literally flown from downstairs all the way upstairs. So anyway, I don't know why this stuff happens to me. Okay, so I'm in the bedroom, I come into the bedroom and there's this little blue tit flying around the room and I'm like, okay, how do I get a blue tit out of my room? So I've gone over to the window, so that one, and opened it wide and I'm trying to encourage this bird to go out of the window because I didn't want to frighten it. Um, I also have no clue how you're supposed to catch a bird. Um, meanwhile, it's obviously flying around my bedroom, landing on all my stuff and pooing on everything, which isn't really what I want when I've got my washing all over the bed um so i'm thinking how do i cause this bird minimal stress in order to not scare it and get it out of the room i couldn't i so then i went to try and open the other window and it flew over to the other side of the room i'm like oh, you're not getting it bird you need to go out of the window so i couldn't get it out so i decided i know what i'll do i'll phone ben because you know he's really going to be able to help he's in lossy he's he's not going to be able to help but i'll phone him because it'll make me feel better so i went downstairs to get my phone and phoned him he didn't answer um but by the time i'd come back up it had gone now i can't see it anywhere i can't hear it anywhere um so i'm assuming that it flew out the window maybe when i was gone it wasn't scared so it flew out the window i'm hoping that it flew out the window um i don't know how it got in here i really don't and then i was thinking please don't let it have pooed on Eva's dress which is a delicate wash only and is only just dried because it has to be washed on its own and what did it do yeah it's pooed right down the front of it so I'm I'm hoping that I've got it out all right without ruining it but I think I think it might need to go in the wash again it's this dress and it's like a delicate wash so I've checked now I'm checking everything to check there's not more bird poo on it because there's bird poo on my washing there's bird poo on my lampshade um I've checked my curtains and I've checked all the other places that uh, it might have gone. I don't know why this stuff happens. Why does this stuff happen to me? Um, I've checked all the other rooms to see if it's been anywhere. And then I thought maybe the cat brought the bird in because the cat is known for catching birds sometimes. Um, but he went out like first thing this morning and he's been inside ever since. So I can't see it was him either. Honestly, I don't know how it got in here. I really don't know how it got in here. Now I'm just going around looking at everything, making sure it's not got bird poo on it. Honestly, do you know what I mean? It's just sometimes, you know, when you think, oh, I've got so much to do today. And then the next thing you know, you're, you're trying to grapple a bird out of your house. So I can't see it coming in here. It's very strange. I honestly don't know. how. I mean, it was only a little bird, but even the little gaps in the window, it, it wasn't small enough for it to get in. Anyway, um... I'm going to do some lunch now and then that's a washing up. I can't even remember what I was doing before the whole bird thing. Um, so that's just, I'm hoping the bird's gone off and he's fine. And I'm hoping it wasn't the cat that got him because he's not looking all that guilty. Uh, so hopefully it wasn't him. And it, the bird looked okay. I'll give it that. It looked okay. It was flying around all right. So hopefully it's gone outside to its bird friends. Um... Anyway, I'm going to go and get some lunch and then we're going to get ready to go to the hospital. Say hi. Hi. We're at the hospital. Hey. 
Oh, we only had to drive around the car park approximately 3,049 times to find a car park in space. Um, and what would be really helpful is if people didn't park over like three spaces. I know it's a tight car park, but just park in one space rather than like two or three. And then we'll all hopefully be able to get a space. But anyway, I did leave him plenty of time because I knew I'd be driving around around the car park. But we have a space and we're ready to go, aren't we, Jojo? Yeah. Yeah. I can walk in the doctor's. He can walk in the doctor's. So we're going to go in and we're going to find out what's going on. Jojo, show me your arm. Whoa, are you like Spider Man now? Yeah. Oh, flows over there. Flowing. <laughs> Did you just bump your other elbow? No, no. Get her. Get her. She's alright. Florence, come back. Just waiting for another x-ray um he's had one x-ray he's seen the consultant he's had a new cast put on now we're waiting for another x-ray um florence trying to stop them terrorizing okay. opening and closing the doors a million times um mind your fingers mind your fingers so just wait come on then lead us out good boy Okay, so we're done. So, <laughs> he's over the moon. Um, it's been a long afternoon. So, we went in. <laughs> First thing, we had x-rays, which I knew he'd have to have more x-rays again. Um, obviously, check it hasn't moved or got worse or anything else. So, it was quite busy. So, we waited for a while for an x-ray. And then it was through to the clinic to see the orthopedic consultant, which happens... To be no happens to be the same consultant that Isabel saw when um, she broke her ankle and dislocated her knee. Um, so the surgery she had on her ankle, she had a <clears throat> on her foot. Sorry, ankle foot. The pins on her ankle, isn't it? Yes, Ben foot. <coughs> Isabel ankle. So the Ow. surgery she had on her Ow, ankle, she had a mommy. pin mommy. put in. Um, was done by the consultant we saw today. So. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, he kind of looked as if say I recognise you. So yeah, um, but he's he's fantastic. He's brilliant. So completely, you know, happy with with seeing him. So what um, basically what he's done is well, obviously he's broken his elbow, but it's the, is it a subcondylar fracture, which is where it's gone through the kind of big bone, whichever one that is. Um, and but you can only see it on certain x-rays because obviously with children there's lots of tissues there's lots of different bits of you know especially young children um, so when you look at the x-rays on one x-ray you can't so much see it but on the other x-ray you can see that it's gone nearly like three quarters of the way through um, so it's slightly displaced uh, but not fully so anyway um, he said if he had been older, he probably would have need, needed to have an operation to put pins in his elbow. But because he's younger, so young, um, two seconds. Yeah, so if he was a little bit older, if he was older, he'd have to have, he almost definitely would have had to have surgery to put pins in his um, elbow. But because he's that bit younger and his bones are still quite pliable he said they should just be able to fix it with casting it what color is your cast red, red like spidey so he's very pleased that he's got a red he's got red cast like spider-man um so i i asked if if this would still be a chance with him needing to have surgery and he said that obviously there's still a slight possibility if it doesn't heal properly 
Um, there is still a chance that he may well have to have surgery, but hopefully because he's young, um, much younger, uh, it should just heal with a cast. But um, he has to be checked every week, so he has to be x-rayed every week because if there's any chance at any point that it's getting any worse or it's not healing in the right place or um, it's not healing at all or it's healing out of line or whatever, then he probably have to go for surgery. But hopefully, fingers crossed, um, it will just be a case of the cast will sort it and it will be fine. So I'm happier because he's got a full cast on. I was a bit worried with the other one because it was obviously it was the swelling had gone down, so it was not, um, you know, his arm was moving around. So he's got a nice, a nice cast on now, um, which is fully protecting it. He has also got a different sling as well. The bruise on it is huge. When they took the other cast off, the bruise on his elbow is massive. It's all like purple and green. It's really huge, but the swelling has gone down, which is good. So yeah, um, I'm gonna take him home now because obviously they're uh, they're quite wound up because they've been there for ages now. Them. They've been good as gold. I'm gonna go home and relay all this to Ben. Um, so I'll be back. Right, we're back home. I thought I'd just come upstairs um, and just kind of go over again because obviously it's very noisy in the car. Flo was hungry, Joseph was hungry. Um, I think it's it's about half past five now. So we've been there a good sort of two and a half hours. Um, so they were really good for, you know, for little ones waiting around, they were really well behaved. Um, so yeah. It's all been a bit vague. As I said uh, at the weekend when he actually did it, we kind of weren't really sure exactly what he'd done or anything like that. Um, so I feel a little bit happier in knowing exactly what he's done now and seeing the x-rays for myself as well. So with kids' x-rays, it's quite difficult to see um, because there's their bones and different bits and tissues and all that sort of stuff. I'm not medical. But you can see on one of them, like on one <clears throat> one x-ray, you can't see it all that much. But on the other x-ray, you can see that it's all sort of three quarters of the way through, really. Um, hence why it's not completely displaced. So I'm kind of, I'm happier in my mind now that I've uh, seen it for myself. I'm kind of one of those people that likes, I need to know exactly what I'm, what I'm dealing with, what I'm looking at. Um, so I know, you know what to do and I know I'm not medical and I know I'm not a doctor or anything like that but you know it's I still want to kind of know where we're where we're at with it if you like um so yeah so he like I said had he been that little bit older he would have needed like Isabel um he would have needed pins to fix the bone the type of injury that he has would have needed um a couple of pins in it but because he is that bit younger and obviously little one's bones are like plasticine aren't they when they're that sort of age hopefully he will heal just with having a cast um originally the consultant did say they might be able to rather than take that whole cast that back slab cast off to uh just reinforce it but the <clears throat> the plaster room were like no we'll put a new one on so that's why he has to have another x-ray after just to check that everything's still in the right place because obviously if you take one plaster off you have to check that it's all still in the right place and it's been plastered the correct position etc etc um so yeah fingers crossed it will heal and he won't need any surgery on it but the consultant did say that they will keep an eye on it as he grows uh so it won't just be you know four or five weeks in the cast they'll keep an eye on it as he grows to make sure because it's written uh, near the growth plate as well so they will keep an eye on it as he grows to make sure that everything is growing right um i assume they mean that they'll see him like you know once a year or whatever to check that everything's growing the way it should be so yeah fingers crossed it will heal with with that cast he's as you can see he's he's not really affected by it anymore um the swelling has gone down a lot and like i said it's got 
you know quite a lot of bruising on his arm but he was he was absolutely amazing he was good as gold he i think because we've been there quite a lot and because he's had what one two i don't know about eight x-rays on it now so he had one on saturday night two on sunday night two today oh yeah that's five x-rays i'm sure he's had some more anyway um six x-rays i don't know i don't know he's had quite a few but because he's been to lots of different places in the hospital, he's happy with where he's been now and he, he can recognise the place and he's he's not scared. Because it, the, the one thing with Joseph is if he feels out of control of the situation or if he feels scared by something or it's something new, or something that he doesn't know anything about, he gets very, very um, scared, if you like. Very, very kind of standoffish. He, he, that is what's going to send him into a melt, meltdown is any if you know if you put him in a situation that he's he's not been kind of routined for it's something out of the blue uh, you know something new he's not very good with that sort of thing at all and that is liable to make him flare up but because obviously he's been there saturday the sunday and then today as well i've got something in my eye and it's driving me crazy it's okay false alarm um yeah so subcondylar fracture of his elbow um it's not fully displaced hopefully won't need surgery um he's got it in a cast he's got to go back every week uh so we'll have to go back next monday and the monday after um to check to x-ray it to check it's not moved i don't know whether that means he's got to see the consultant every week or whether uh he just has an x-ray and sees them if needed i'm not sure we'll find out i'm sure um, but hopefully, being that he is young, it will heal and all will be okay. I hope. Obviously, as you can see, he's not isn't he's not really in pain with it so much anymore. And you know, I'm much happier. Like I was saying, now it's in a proper cast. Um, it's a little bit more. I feel like it's a bit more. It's not going to get hurt. You know, I've been worrying about him because he's been running around the garden and stuff like that and i'm like oh no don't please don't fall over or anything like that um but you can't you know he's five you can't keep him sat inside all the time and if he wants to you know go play if he feels well enough to go play i don't want to stop him from going and playing um but i'm happier now that he's got he's he's got a like a blue soft what's it called um Oh, what's it called? My, my mind has just come completely blank. Sling, that's the one. Completely blank. Um, but mainly, he doesn't have to use it all the time. It's mainly because obviously the cast is a full arm cast. Um, so it can get quite heavy sometimes. So he can wear it if his arm's feeling a bit heavy. It is set at 90 degrees. So he can't, you know, he can't bend it or anything. It's not going anywhere and it goes all the way up to the top. So I'm, I'm happier with his other cast was starting to feel baggy and loose and i was worried about his arm moving around inside but now i'm i'm happy that he's got you know something sturdy on his arm now so yeah we're all done so fingers crossed like i said everything heals as it should and he'll need no more further treatment other than checkups obviously what will be will be and we'll take whatever you know if if it's needed i don't know why they're there florence comes in with all sorts of stuff in the morning she finds things like my cleaning stuff she takes it from where it's supposed to be and and moves things i have to put it up high out of her reach because she likes she's she likes to grab things all the time um yeah obviously you know we'll do whatever needs to be done um but i'm just glad that for now because i was really worried about going in today that they were going to say yes he definitely needs surgery you're going to have to take him over to aberdeen um because i was like not only do I not want to have to go to Aberdeen? Because uh, the consultant actually said that he's he discussed the x-rays with the um, radiologist, uh, radiologist, with the consultants over in Aberdeen at the Children's uh, Hospital in Aberdeen to, to check, to get their kind of take on it. What did they think would be best? Would he, you know, should he have surgery or should we just see if it will um, heal in a cast? So they've kind of all agreed that, yes, we will... We will do this for now, um, and fingers crossed it will be it will be fine. Um, but yeah, I didn't really because he is little. I would assume that he would need to go to Aberdeen, and I didn't really. I was thinking, oh, I don't want to have to go to Aberdeen. Obviously, we will if we have to, but um, yeah, and not 
I don't want to have to take it. It's it's horrible when you. It's like when I took Erin uh, um, for her tonsillectomy. You know, obviously one of us has to go, but then you've got that long drive back with somebody who's not very well in the car. So it's really hard. And Aberdeen is like nearly two hours. So you you, you know you're taking him over and back um, after an operation on your own, if you like. Uh, for sort of a two hour drive after that is is on your own is quite it's quite difficult because you can't kind of sit with him in the back because you've got a drive so and you can't take other people with you because you know you can only go in as one person so yeah we will do whatever needs doing at the end of the day but I'm just glad that for now this is the treatment that he's getting I'm just still checking for bird stuff in here looked like the bird had been in the bathroom as well we found out because there was lots of bird poo in the bath but the bird has gone so this is good so all in all uh good news so i know we got quite a lot of stick for this one obviously because you know it was an accident and it was because the sides were off the trampoline etc etc you know nobody was supposed to be on the trampoline the these things happen you know accidents happen it happened it's done you know trampoline is now out of bounds um but i'm just glad that at the moment all seems okay i've still got my coat on because i'm just about to go and do the shopping because it never stops so I've just dropped him back so he can have his tea and flow back as well because she was with us and olivia obviously and i'm now going to go and do the shopping but I'm not doing a shopping haul tonight, guys, because it's quite late. Um, it's like quarter to six or something. Half five, quarter to six. So I won't get back till a bit later. So anyway, just a bit of an update vlog for everybody. Um, just to tell you all what's what's been going on with Joseph, basically. Um, all the people that are actually concerned, that is, not the people that just want to jump on and have a go at us. Um, so... Yeah, thank you, everybody, for your genuine concern. Um, we've had some really lovely comments from people and they far outweigh any of the bad ones that we get. Believe me, they really do. So it's, yeah, it's really, it's been really good to have guys and you guys support, um, especially when, you know, things like this accidents happen and it makes you feel pretty rotten that, you know, they're in pain and it's kind of it's your fault because you know they shouldn't have been on the trampoline and blah de blah de blah and you you know you all blame it down to yourself and at the end of the day it's an accident but you know yeah you guys have been great in lots of supportive messages and uh you know lots of accidents happen messages which is true but thank you as ever for all of your support um so yeah i'm not sure what the next vlog's going to be um there's a couple i've got to be an m haul coming out B&M and Home Bargains but I'm not sure which way round Ben's going to do this because I just give the videos to him and he edits them which is the good bit so anyway uh, don't forget to drop us a like and my legs gone dead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and we will catch you definitely gone dead um, in the next video bye